Hello everyone, in this uh, video I would like to cover everything you need for uh, lab uh, number uh, number 5. Uh, um, as usual, I assume that you covered everything you need uh, for this uh, lab in the book. Uh, went through all those uh, activities uh, in the course uh, uh, schedule. I'm just going like, to refresh a couple of uh, definitions and uh, go through uh, the steps of the hypothesis testing, uh, which I expect to see in quiz number uh, two and uh, the final uh, exam. For the lab, uh, it's fairly straightforward because all those uh, steps uh, are uh, set there. You just need to do a couple of uh, quick calculations and make the conclusion. Okay, uh, I would like with uh, I would like to start uh, with uh, the quote uh, from uh, William Edwards uh, Deming that without uh, data you are just another person with an opinion. So which is true, you know, So which is true if you are expressing some opinion, you know, so you are judging something. Yeah, you need like, to support like your judgment uh, with uh, with the data. But I would like something to add something else. I'm pretty much sure. Um, uh, William Deming, uh, he uh, he meant that like with uh, uh, this statement. But I would like to make uh, some clarification. So some clarification. Uh, I would say that without uh, data analysis, you are just another guy with the data. Yeah. So this is this is uh, uh, I think uh, uh, important. Yeah. So this is important not only to collect the data but analyze the data. And what is the most important to make the uh, conclusion. So some people uh, they forget about this. Uh, so they think that collection of the data is the main thing, uh, but it's not. It's the first stage. So the second stage, using different uh, mathematical uh, techniques, uh, is uh, to analyze that uh, data. And then there's the third stage, which I consider the most important. You make those conclusions. You make those conclusions. You collect the data and you analyze the data to make those conclusions. So some people, they, they forget about this. Uh, so they state something mathematically at the end of, of the hypothesis testing and they think that's it. Yeah. So this is good. Yeah, you calculated the, uh, everything. You calculated the critical uh, value. You calculated uh, the, the test statistic. You, you stated all, 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 all your um, H0 like, and H1 and your uh, claim. Uh, you, you you did everything right, let's say, yeah. But then you don't make the conclusion about your claim. If your initial claim was true or not, so you do not like answer that question, yeah. And and everything was to answer like that question. And if you do all that everything and you do not answer the question, so if your claim was uh, uh, was true like or not true based on the significance. Uh, level uh, which you uh, state so then everything was useless yeah, you do not uh, answer like the, the the question yeah about your claim if it's <laughs> true or not yeah. okay so definitions uh, there uh, uh, in statistics a hypothesis uh, is a claim or statement about the property of uh, a population uh, property of the population, it can be mean, it can be a standard deviation, it can be a proportion, and we can state a whole bunch of different various claims. Yeah, so if, let's say we can state that mean is greater than like some, uh, some value, or less than some value, or equal to some value. Yeah. So same we can do for the proportion and standard deviation. We don't do, we don't do standard deviation tests uh, uh, in, this, uh, in this course. Uh, uh, we used to do it, I believe, uh, in the past, as well as comp uh, we were uh, stating some claims uh, uh, for the comparison of means and standard deviation, but we don't uh, do it anymore. So our all our tests uh, they're going to be very straightforward and related to the popula uh, population uh, proportion and uh, and, me and mean. Okay. Uh, and we are going to do the hypothesis test. And hypothesis test is a standard procedure for testing a claim about a property of uh, population. Okay, uh, as I as I've already mentioned, I expect to see some certain steps once you uh, test the uh, test the claim. So once you run like the hypothesis test, uh, hypothesis test. And the first, uh, the first uh, step is uh, to state your null hypothesis and your alternative hypothesis. Uh, the null hypothesis um, uh, 
uh, denoted by a zero is a statement uh, that the value of a population parameter such as proportion mean or standard deviation is equal to some claimed uh, value. Um, technically, uh, technically, it's uh, it should be uh, it should be not only equal to, so it must contain the equal sign our h h zero, uh, but the null hypothesis can be different from just equal to something. Okay, so there uh, there is like some theory behind this. So this is definition from the book, and you can see this definition in uh, the other books. Uh, um, and there is, as I, as I mentioned, there is like some uh, theory behind that. I don't remember if in this book uh, this theory is uh, is shown or they just suggest like, to use the null hypothesis as, uh, um, as your uh, parameter equal to something uh, instead of doing it uh, um, mathematically, uh, mathematically opposite to the uh, alternative hypothesis which we are going to present uh, next. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, so again, my my goal like, of this video is not going like deep into the uh, theory. Uh, I can just say uh, that uh, this is related to the most uh, uh, conservative or so-called least uh, favorable uh, configuration. And um, there, as I, there is like some justification of uh, uh, of doing this. Uh, uh, more more intuitively clear so that it is uh, it is mathematical opposite to h1 or h1 is mathematical opposite to h0 and uh, talking uh, simple language h0 so h0 is uh, something what we know about uh, population yeah, so something what we knew from some like pre previous uh, uh, knowledge so prior knowledge yeah. uh, it could be something from i don't know like some old experiments like from uh, like some surveys uh, and so on and so forth um, and uh, again so we do not trust it yeah so we don't trust like h is zero so if let's say we trust trust is zero so then what is what is kind of the the what is the sense of running all this stuff uh, the the hypothesis testing yeah so we make the claim so we make the claim so which is different from h zero yeah we make the claim so which is uh, different uh, uh, from uh, from h0 so we test the claim so which is going to be uh, different uh, than uh, from h0 uh, okay alternative hypothesis uh, uh, denoted by h h1 is uh, the statement mathematically opposite to uh, to h0 okay so that's what h uh, h1 uh, is Okay, so once we stated our H0 and H1, we switch to step number two, so where we define the significance level, so which is usually given. And the significance level is the probability that the test statistic will fall in the critical region when the null hypothesis is actually true. And the common choices of uh, uh, the significance level are uh, 0 0.05, 0 0.01, and 0. Uh, one yeah those are like, quite uh, common values which we are also going to use yeah obviously nothing is uh, nothing is uh, um, hundred percent certain like in this uh, in this slide and that is why we are going to test our hypothesis based on some significance level or we can also say with some confidence yeah so there's some confidence as well confidence is one minus significance level yeah for example uh, what is the difference between 0 0.05 and 0 0.1 if let's say we are uh, we claim something uh, and we test it with the significance level 0 0.05 and then we found out that we do not have enough evidence to claim that at this significance level of 0 0.05 okay so then what we can do we can drop uh, drop down the confidence by increasing the significance so if for the uh, significance level 0 0.05 the confidence is 95 percent so we are saying that with 95 percent we claim this and let's say we don't have enough evidence to claim that with 95 percent confidence so and then we increase like the significance level um, uh, and that means we decrease like the confidence so for 0 0.1 significance confidence is 90 percent yeah so less five percent less and we might be we, we might have enough evidence to claim that with 90% uh, conf uh, uh, confidence. So if let's say we bump it up, yeah, uh, so it, it might be not enough evidence like, to, to judge about something. But if it's 90% with less confidence, we can claim something, okay? And this is usually given. 
in and in this second step we also calculate uh, critical uh, we calculate uh, critical uh, values yeah we calculate critical values based on the uh, significance uh, level uh, given okay and the critical value is uh, any value that separates the critical region where we reject the null hypothesis from the values of the test statistics that do not lead to rejection of the null uh, hypothesis okay so and that's how we uh, calculate those using uh, Excel. So we are using the normal standard uh, uh, distribution inverted function, uh, 0.95 if it's the uh, right tail, okay, if it's the right tail, and uh, 0.05 if it's the left tail. Okay. So those are the uh, those are the uh, z values in this case. If you're talking about standard normal distribution, uh, which cut like those uh, those regions. Which cut those regions. Then we are calculating the test statistics and we check like where this test statistic is, like with the next couple of uh, uh, steps. Okay, and uh, um, uh, this is for the normal uh, distribution. We are also going to use the uh, T distribution or students distribution. So that distribution was uh, uh, developed uh, by um, uh, William Gossett, uh, so one uh, famous uh, statistician uh, who did uh, a lot of uh, contributions like to uh, statistics. Uh, uh, he used to work in the uh, in the Guinness uh, factory um, like in Ireland. I used to be there, by the way, like in the <laughs> the Guinness factory in nineties uh, in Dublin. And uh, uh, there were a whole bunch of other uh, big names like in statistics working there. Like it's very old. Uh, old uh, uh, company like with uh, very interesting very interesting history and uh, one of those guys he published like something like which was uh, um, which was uh, uh, which was not supposed like, to be uh, to be published like some uh, confident uh, uh, information uh, so which uh, uh, which was like related like to some commercial like secrets uh, and uh, he was uh, in uh, trouble. Uh, he had like a lot of uh, legal issues. Uh, uh, that is why uh, William uh, Gossett he was uh, publishing his papers uh, under uh, the nickname uh, "Student." So that is why this distribution uh, is also called uh, "Student's uh, Distribution." Um, but yeah, you can also see the T distribution, and it, that's how it is also notated in. Uh, in Excel, like the, the functions related to the student's distribution, they are under the distribution function. Okay, yeah, those are a couple of examples, uh, and we calculate the uh, the critical values using the t distributions in the distribution in the similar way. Uh, we just need to introduce the uh, degrees of freedom, yeah, which is the sample size minus uh, minus one. Okay, so this is the next uh, step. Uh, we are calculating test statistics. So once we introduced our H0 and H1, so once we, uh, once we uh, introduced like, our significance uh, level and based on that we calculated the critical values. Uh, so since in lab 5 you need to use critical values uh, method, uh, the p-value method, you just uh, you need to, to, to use it in the quiz number uh, two uh, and in the final uh, final exam, I'm going to cover it in the next uh, in the next uh, uh, video. So here I'm focusing on the critical value method. So once all that stuff is done, the third step is to calculate the test statistic. So this is uh, uh, this is something again like some a parameter like of the statistics uh, which we collected. So that is something given, yeah, so something given. So this is uh, something what we calculate based on the statistics which we uh, collected. So this is the value used in making a decision about the null hypothesis and is found by converting the sample uh, uh, statistic uh, to a score with the assumption that the null hypothesis is uh, true. Okay, uh, that's how we calculate it. Uh, um, yeah, if the standard uh, uh, deviation of population is known, so let's say we know it from again like for some from some prior research, we know the standard deviation of population. So then we are going to use the uh, standard normal uh, distribution. If uh, we don't know uh, standard uh, um, deviation like of population, we are going to use uh, the uh, student's distribution. We are going to use student's distribution and calculate the standard deviation of the sample. 
Uh, so that's uh, that's uh, how we are going to calculate uh, those values. Uh, yes, I think we are going to use uh, uh, to to use uh, uh, those values uh, to test uh, some claims related to the mean. Yeah. So once uh, we um, we do some uh, calculations like for the mean, like we uh, some statistical calculation for the mean. So that's how we calculate the z scores. Yeah. So as you remember, of course, from central limit theory. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else? Yeah, so the step number four. So once we calculated our, uh, once we calculated our uh, test statistics, uh, we know our critical values. So now we are ready like to do the first conclusion about H0. We reject H0 uh, or we do not reject H0. Okay. And uh, that's what you see. We can see here, this is the T distribution for the T distribution for normal distribution is absolutely the same. Just here, instead of uh, uh, critical values uh, uh, calculated using the uh, t-distribution function is going to be the critical values calculated based on the uh, standard normal distribution function like so. So here you can see the left tail, here you can see the right tail uh, test, and here you can see total tests so where we need to split our uh, significance like into two uh, tails. Okay, yeah, so those are different cases. Uh, uh, with which we are going to deal with. Uh, so our alternative hypothesis in this case, uh, uh, mean is less than um, some value. Here alternative hypothesis is, uh, uh, so you see here it's HA. So that's another uh, quite common um, notation of the uh, hypothesis in the book, it is uh, H1. Okay, and uh, here uh, the um, mean of the population is uh, greater than some value. So that's what we state as the alter alternative hypothesis. So the null hypothesis is, is opposite. It's opposite or it's just equal to those that, that uh, um, uh, mu zero uh, value, okay? So again, guys, up to you how to, how to do it. If you want like to, to do it in the same way as in the book or you want like to formally present it as the um, as, uh, uh, as the mathematical opposite, uh, both ways are totally fine. Uh, okay, uh, so then, uh, yeah, we reject or we do not reject H0. Uh, and, and based on that, we do like the last conclusion about the claim. So we claim something, and then at the end of the day, uh, so if let's say we, we claim that uh, uh, the mean, yeah, so the mean, uh, like salary, so the mean salary of uh, the professor is greater than some uh, value. And we claim this, yeah, so we are testing this claim. So, and then the answer should be, so the claim that the mean salary of uh, the professor is greater than like some value uh, is, uh, um, is, is true. So we can support it, we can support it. Or we cannot support it. So we do not have enough evidence to support the claim so that the mean salary of uh, the professor is uh, greater than some value, okay? So we make this conclusion. So we do not answer this question about such a claim, uh, such as we reject H0. Yeah. So somebody is asking you about the uh, about uh, the mean salary, and you're 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 answering like this question, saying something about uh, some like H0. Yeah? So it's not good. So you need like, to uh, finish. You need to finish the solution. So with the statement about the claim which you formulated in the first step. Okay. Not just saying you reject H H0 or you do not reject H0. So this is not answering the question so which you stated in the state uh, step number uh, one. Okay. okay, so I think uh, that's it uh, from the point of uh, uh, theory. Yeah, that's it.